is the MEP who's a skeptic on climate change. They're the scientists who are convinced it's a major threat to mankind. We should tell Brussels we're going to keep our coal fired power stations. And we should repeal the 2008 Climate Change Act. Roger Helmer gets a standing ovation from the UKIP conference for his views on global warming. But what kind of reception will he get from the scientists at Leicester University's brand new centre for studying climate change? Hi, I'm Roger Helmer. How do you do? The MEP accepts that global warming may be happening, but believes it's part of a natural pattern of warming and cooling. Today he's meeting three scientists convinced that it's our carbon emissions that are causing the problems. Roger's shown their evidence. But he's come armed with his own facts too. In 15 years, you can see there's a bit of variation, um, but there's no trend, there's no long-term increase over 15 years. Well, you're right in the sense that in the last 15 years, there wasn't any measurable climate change if you just look at that period. Mm. But if you look at the last 150 years, since humans started mm. um, releasing mm. greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, then we do see a quite significant increase in temperatures globally. One by one, the scientists take on the MEP. We're living in a little plateau of, of really quite extraordinary stability. Uh, and what we are, are threatening to do at the moment is to push the system in ways we still don't quite understand. If you look at the long-term deep time record, uh, you find that there are widely varying levels of CO2 um, and you don't seem to see any close relationship. Well, I, I, would, I would disagree with that, Roger. There are lots of instances we see in deep time where carbon dioxide is really fundamentally controlling climate. It's a cordial meeting, but the stakes could hardly be higher. If the scientists are right, urgent action needs to be taken now. If Roger Helmer's right, we're spending billions on a problem which doesn't exist. So, has the meeting led to agreement? It's great he's taken a keen interest in this. Uh, but we would have, I think, to sit down with him over a, oh, several cups of tea or even, as you suggested before, a pint of beer to really try and work through the kind of evidence that we and other people have gone through. I've got great respect for the scientists that we've met at Leicester University, but I've met and worked with other highly qualified scientists who take a quite different view. What we're dealing here with is highly disputed, highly speculative science and on the basis of this highly speculative science, we are spending literally hundreds of billions of pounds, unimaginable amounts of money, uh, on uh, a problem that may not be a problem. The evidence for climate change is so overwhelming that if he still doubts it, he will not be convinced just by meeting us. For the scientists, it's been a chance to put what they see as an urgent case to a politician. For Roger Helmer, it's confirmed his view that the scientists have got it wrong. It could be a long time before the two sides see eye to eye.